Hi guys, welcome back to Wild Dish. Now we're very spoilt today in the Wild Dish Kitchen. We've got Chloe here from InStyle Magazine. Hello. And um, InStyle are big supporters of us, so we're going to be having a bit of a chat about what we're doing here. Well, it's very exciting. So what are we going to make today then? So this is a, a classic gizzy salad. It's marinated spiralised Asian vegetables. And we're going to be serving that with crispy chicken and a satay sauce. Okay. And is it going to take hours to do? Because it looks like a lot of stuff. Right, what are we doing? I'm going to say we're going to get this done in 20 minutes. No way. I mean it. Okay. I truly do. Challenge up. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the classic, which is the courgette. Okay. Um, these have been cleaned and you just take off the top and the bottom. Now, it's really fun. You're going to get obsessed. Instrument of torture. Really like that <laughs> here. Now, pull towards your nest and you spin. Okay. So this is your classic courgette. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that and I'm going to bung this in this bowl. We're going to get a couple of those done. It's fun, isn't it? It's so fun. I'm actually really getting into it. <laughs> it's good, good for the muscles. Yeah, it's quite a good workout as well. You can really earn your dinner. Now, you probably haven't seen one of these before, or you might have. I've that's the type of thing I would see in the fruit and veg shop and be like, no, I no don't know idea. what to do with that. Okay. This is a daikon, it's a Japanese uh, or Asian radish and we're just going to take a bit of that and we're going to spiralise that. Now this one's going to be a bit harder, but give it a go. Okay, we'll really work the muscles. Yeah. But there's something about the crispness that's sort of even more satisfying. It's actually so fun. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. And actually to get the best out of any salad, you need to marinate it in a good dressing. Okay. So I'm just going to chop, I'm going to do the chopping, you're going to do all the hard work. So we've just got a couple of um, Thai chilies. I'm just going to put some of these chilies in here and I want you to start pounding away at them. Mm -hmm. This, oh cripes, don't ignore that bit. Um, this is just classic Indian curry powder, just old school, common old garden and salt. And I'm just using that. Quite a lot then. Yeah, a couple of tablespoons. Okay. When you fry this, it, the powder sort of clings onto it and it sort of cooks this chicken to this real crispiness. And that's all you've had to do, and it's got this stacks of flavour. It really takes on the flavour of the curry. It smells so good already. It really does. And that's just from curry powder, so that's a really good cheat. Now, in here, I've been frying off some shallots. So there is already flavour in that pan, but we're just going to put a tiny bit more. It's good because you're um, saving on washing up, which is always good. As well. When it starts to smoke, I'm going to actually turn that down, and I'm going to put this chicken into the pan, skin side down. Why do you put it skin side? Um, okay, so the skin is where all the fat is, and what we're going to do is we're going to gradually, over a low, lowish heat, now we're going to slowly render the fat out of it, which is going to give us, it's going to take the excess fat away, and then we're going to get that skin nice and crispy okay. before we turn it over. <laughs> Ta -da -da. All right, I'm just going to let that cook really slowly so we can sort of forget about that for a while. Okay, so what's next? So we're going to put in, have you had this before? No, I was trying to work out what this was. I'm going to get you to have a tiny bit of this. It's, um, okay, just have a, have a little taste of that. It's sugar. It's called palm sugar. That's so nice. Isn't it delicious? And that's a natural unrefined sugar. And um, it's, it's much better for you than most sugars. It tastes like caramel, mm. don't you think? Yeah. So I'm going to put this, a little bit of this in here, about a, a teaspoon's okay. worth. But if you didn't have this, can you use what other kind of sugar could you um, use? You could just use brown sugar, okay. to be honest. Even, even if you had it cast sugar. And if you were being super healthy and you wanted to do like coconut blossom or coconut sugar, you can totally do that as well. Okay, so then you're putting in... So, juice of um, a few limes. I'm going to go see how many I want to go for. I think probably two to three. Be really good to marinate our veggies in. Now, this stuff, this is fish sauce, and we're going to put in about two tablespoons of that. And then we're going to do a tiny bit of this stuff. This is a tamarind paste, it's tamarind. concentrated tamarind. This is based on pure tamarind extract. So, I'm going to dress this salad now. Okay. And we're putting all of our spiralized veg into a big Too mixing much. bowl. Mm -hmm. That really is a big mixing bowl. <laughs> um, and we're going to pour in. That's such an dressing. easy dressing to make then. It's so yeah. easy. And then I'm going to get in with my hands and I'm going to really give that a good mix around. Okay. Kind of like nice to massage all of this dressing into here. It's quite relaxing this recipe as well. Yeah, so I like the way you've got time. the chicken on, yep. it's doing its thing. You see those herbs there? Mm -hmm. Well you start picking the leaves off them. In there we've got a mixture of um, Thai, um, Thai basil or normal basil if you can, it's the only thing you can get hold of, it's fine. Okay. Then we've got uh, mint and fresh coriander. Yum. So it's really zingy and fresh, this salad. So that's just the coriander going in. Okay. 
And then we can get the bezel and just dry that off again. Now our last raw ingredient, some raw shallots now. Okay. I'm just gonna put that in. So, now we're gonna do our sauce. Okay. I've got a pan here, and into this pan I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of yellow curry paste. You can get that in all supermarkets nowadays. Okay. Into this we're putting some lime leaves. These are dried ones. Fresh ones if you can get them. Okay. But in the supermarkets they now have dried. Coconut milk. Yep, so we're gonna put in all of that. Okay. And then 200 mils of chicken stock. Always use fresh stock. That is the one thing I'm a stickler for. Really? Yep, we're gonna go for a little bit more of the tamarind. So much, I was very concentrated, that one. <laughs> We've got some crunchy peanut butter here. Yum. So the whole saute element. I'm gonna put some more sugar in here. I'm gonna just chop up the rest of this. Okay. This is probably quite a good dish as well then, if you do it the night before, if you have, have a bit extra, some leftovers. Like, can you have it cold the next this, day? The next day in your lunchbox is gonna yeah. be next level. All right, so let's have a go on these. I'm just gonna mix this together, but basically we just want this to melt together and reduce down and turn into the best satay sauce you've oh. ever had. So it's good. a fact. That is looking so good. You can see how crispy that chicken skin mm. is going to be. It's my favourite thing in the entire world. All right, so we're just going to let that cook on the other side. So um, the only thing left to go into here is some more fish sauce. Okay. And can you let this do its thing, or should you? This just needs stirring? to. Well, we're going to. It needs to all melt together. Okay. And then we're going to just reduce it down until it sort of like become, you know, like that classic crunchy peanut, bit of peanut butter, bit saucy, yeah. pouring consistency, but not like, not super. You want to spoon it out of the, That's the, out one. Of the pan. Right, we've got our chicken's pretty much ready, so I'm going to turn that off. Great. We've got our sauce here, our saute sauce. We've got our salad, which is our marinated spiralised vegetables. So it's probably time we were to plate up. Oop, and it's messy work. So it's looking really, really, really so beautiful. Good. Just so fresh. It really is fresh. And then the saute sauce um, as a base. So I'm going to just pour that here. And then we are going to get the chicken. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> it is one of the best salads you're ever going to eat. I promise you that. <laughs> and then finished with this crunchy Shallots. I have to come up with a nickname for those. I know. Yeah, I know. Crew lots. <laughs> Crew lots. Yeah, that's good. Know, lots. <laughs> so that is my crispy chicken salad with um, spiralised, marinated Asian vegetables. Delicious. And saute sauce. I need a fork. <laughs> yeah, we should get you one. Here we go. Mmm. It's so nice and spicy, but it's not burning my mouth. And it kind of feels a bit indulgent, even though it's there's nothing really in it, like really indulgent about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the most indulgent thing in there is the coconut. Yeah, but that's so, like a good indulgent. It's good indulgent. <laughs> it's just fun. I mean, this is my sort of food. It's sort of, and I love the fact that we're doing this on a platter. It's all about sharing. Yeah. Mm. So if you enjoyed this recipe and you want to see more of this, then subscribe to Wild Dish. It's a really great channel. There's loads more recipes like this that are really healthy and really tasty. So definitely check it out. Right. I'll see you again soon. Come over from Rinstall. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>